The Lord's Prayer, third petition, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus teaching us to pray that our Father's will would be done, not only in heaven, but also on earth where we are. The Father's will. Well, what is his will? I think the the old theological term, the proper work of God, is a helpful one here. His alien work is his judgment as he brings wrath properly where it belongs. But his proper work, that which he would prefer to do, is his saving work, his mercy, his grace that he shares with this world. So we have a verse like 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, where we hear that God desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. There are similar passages in Ezekiel about how the Lord simply wants the evil one to turn from his wicked ways and live. And he asks his own people, why will you die, O house of Israel? He doesn't want that. Jesus Christ came into this world not just to die for some, as there are those who teach that, but instead he came to this world to die for all, for you and me And even for those who are not in the church, he died also to forgive and to take away their sins. His will. That would include the preaching of the gospel to all peoples, that this good news would go out to all. Some will still reject it, just as if somebody tried to offer you a free gift today. You might take it, you might turn it down. The free gift is there, and it's on them if they turn it down. But the Lord still loves, and the Lord still cares for this, his creation. So Luther again making the point that we don't actually have to pray this for it to happen. God does not need us to invite him to have his will done. He's God, his will's done whether we want it to be or not. But that he would include us. That his will would be done among us in the church, but also through us in the world as we serve. Luther also makes a point briefly that this is to hinder and break every purpose of evil. And we'll get to talk more about these purposes of evil later in the Lord's Prayer.